Hi amazing Libras, welcome to my channel Simone Speaks. This is going to be your mid-August love reading for all Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising as well as Venus. In this video I'm going to be doing a Celtic spread. Four or five cards just flew out so I will keep this one and I will keep this one. Okay. And if you would like to get notifications on my channel for all different types of readings, whether celebrity, um, astrology updates, you can tap that bell and you will see all my videos. Okay, so these two cards, Libra, are kind of stuck together. And the two cards I'm talking about is Three of Swords, Upright, so Air Element, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, just like yourself, you are an air sign. And the other card was Ace of Pentacles in Reverse. So that's Future, Distant Past. The Foundation of Libra's Mid-August Love Reading is what card? What are Libras going through? What messages do I need to deliver to them today on this video? And I do have, as you guys can see in the background, my fluorite crystal um, obsessed. I actually just purchased this, so I may do a pick a card reading. Um, I may do something very special with this um, crystal here. If you guys want me to do uh, a certain video, you haven't, you have any ideas around this crystal, drop it below. Okay, I will consider. Um, you know, I do read majority of the comments. If I have time, I respond back. So, give it your best shot. That's the card right there. Whoa! So we have another situation, Libra, where. A lot of your cards that are coming out are stuck together, which is not like a bad thing, but it's interesting. I've never actually seen that before. So that card is Six of Swords Upright, and the other card is Four of Cups Reverse. So you do have a couple reversals here. Your, your, Ace, of, your Ace of Pentacles is reversed. Your Emperor card is reversed. Your Knight of Swords card is reversed. The Four of Cups is reversed. So definitely could be a change of heart, change of mind. Two cards coming out again together. So, I mean, a pair could represent a, a pair. I mean, it's not a bad thing. This is a love reading, right? <laughs> What is the final card for Libra's mid-August? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. They tell me just to stop and pull it. The sun. Okay, beautiful. So I am getting some pregnancy vibes. So if you are pregnant or do become pregnant or you're a male watching and you find out that your wife or your girlfriend or could even be lovers pregnant, um, congratulations. You definitely have some kind of fertile energy here. Um, there's not many cards supporting that, but just intuitive, intuitively, I do feel that there's going to be um, a strong presence of fertility and... Um, intimacy this month for you guys okay so let me just look over the cards here and tell you guys what i see going down for the middle half of august so seven of wands fire aries leo Sagittarius, so obviously fire cards wands represent movement action wanting to get something done the base is six of swords and these two cards to me look like two people okay this obviously you could take as the male libra or the person you're connecting with or connecting to and this could be you and vice versa this is a person you're connecting with this is yourself and i do feel here that there is two people that have a lot of differences i feel that a lot of people that are watching this video the person that you're connecting with, um, connecting to as well, there's a lot of differences on the table. 
okay? Maybe one person likes Japanese, the other person likes African food. Um, one person likes to talk a lot, the other person doesn't. One person wants to date exclusively and the other person does not feel the need to do that or say that we are a couple. You have a huge leadership card, the Emperor Aries in reverse. So the energy that I feel coming into your reading, Libra, when it comes to love is some kind of energy of not knowing what direction to go in. I do see that for a lot of you right now, whatever this connection is, soulmate, twin flame, falling in love with your best friend, um, it's, it's very physical, okay? For a lot of you, the connection you have right now in, with love is very physical. And you guys are finding it hard to progress forward. I feel here that either one person is really, really ready, like we're exclusive, let's date, let's be together. And the other person is like, I need to fill you out. Okay, this actually could be a combination of the energy shared between one person or two people where it's like, I need to fill you out. I need to investigate you. I need to see where your heart's at. Three of swords. Before I give you the key to my heart, I need to know and see what you can offer me and what I can offer you in order for us to have that happy family or to continue to have that happy family for those that are married. And I do want to pull a clarifier real quick for the Seven of Wands, because the Seven of Wands, guys, is a very defensive card, okay? This is the energy of somebody who does not want somebody else to break down their walls. This is the energy of somebody who does not want somebody else to know their deepest, darkest secrets, you know, and this could be your energy, Libra, where you don't want this person to, you know uncover you and expose you and get down into your heart and take over um, because for a lot of you there is a possibility that in the distant past you had a breakup you had some kind of sharp disappointment you had some kind of bittersweet ending and it does give me the energy of a relationship that was on pause now play was on pause and now was on play again so this is the energy of somebody or a couple i should say that is on and off or is leaning towards being that way where they really cannot seem to come together as one and be solid there's some kind of like bridge that i feel Two people need to, to kind of walk over together hand in hand and sort out some things. But right now, that's not the way it's looking. The way it's looking right now, Libra, is, is that there is an energy of two people that are quite afraid to take the next step, quite afraid to know somebody's secrets or to ask questions. So there definitely could be a lack of trust here. So can I please have a clarifier for the Seven of Wands upright? And of course, this is a general love reading, so this is not going to resonate with every single person, but whatever message I have to deliver is the one I will deliver, and whoever it resonates with, you're lucky. Congrats. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay, so now the energy of the cards is very, very choppy. Yeah, so the Ten of Swords is a card that I saw from the very beginning, Libra, and you guys know me already. You know, I will not take out a card out of the deck unless it either falls, I see it peeking out on the side, or I feel it's it's time. And for a lot of you Libras, there's it's time to let go of something, okay? I'm not saying the person, because I don't think it's this person. Um... Now, they're just telling me if it's an air sign, a fellow air sign, or a fellow earth sign, 
or it could even be water sign. Okay, there could be a couple of you guys out here that do need to let this go. But when they tell me let it go, what they mean is let the past go, okay? You're holding on to the past too tightly. Um, at least somebody is. So Libra, if that's not you, it's the other person. Somebody's holding on to the past way too tightly, okay? 10 plus 3, 13 swords. So when you combine 3 of swords and 10 of swords, you got yourself a hell of a painful pack punch. So there is something here that's very hurtful. Um, that has the energy of it being deceitful, and that's just the bottom line. So this could be two people I see here who don't trust each other, okay? That's really what I'm getting mainly. And it's a process that you guys have to go through in order to trust again, to love again, to continue to open up and get across that bridge. Because I keep seeing a visual here of a bridge. So, you know, the quote that comes to my mind is bridge of understanding. So there definitely could have been some kind of miscommunication. Um, I feel in the past, though, this is more past energy where there was some kind of um, pain that was experienced by somebody here in the past and somebody in the present is not wanting to let go of that but going into the future we have four of cups reversed eight of cups upright ace of cups reverse and the sun card the sun card. So this was the card that was giving me energy of pregnancy here, okay, or, or being very, very fertile. Um, yeah, and once again, Libra, in your environment, you have eight of cups. So could, could somebody here possibly not be satisfied with some kind of connection? I think it's a possibility. Now, I just kind of cut the deck here, and I got knight of cups upright so this is somebody who is doing quick fast movement okay um you know bam okay this is what i was picking up on <laughs> this is amazing the empress two of cups knight of cups so the message i want to send to you libras for the middle of august is do not give up hope okay there's something here that can be fixed um I feel that the danger I see here is two people, okay? This could be somebody who has water in their chart or both of you have water in your chart and the other person has fire, okay? Because green stone, red stone. So I think both of you have fire and water in your chart. That's what I'm picking up on for a majority of you. But what's at hand, what is at hand to clarify the future cards is Knight of Cups, two of cups and the empress high fertility card also can talk about high intimacy okay having a lot of intimate time together okay or a possibility of being able to um have very passionate encounters either with one person multiple so have you but you do have an energy here libra of or if you're a guy watching cross watcher for a libra female okay or libra moon female libra rising female so-called ascendant libra sun female there is high fertility here so if you don't want to get pregnant this month please be careful but I feel that there's victory. I feel that there could be victory with this with this relationship for a lot of you. But you have to get over something that is haunting you. So this could be cheating. This could be not being faithful. This could be not being willing to commit. Okay? That's the energy that I feel is dominating the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Is the energy of not wanting to commit. And by you both not committing to each other and having these sort of flings, it's creating friction it's creating friction but the two of cups is very clear okay the two of cup the two of cups is very very clear which means falling in love again okay having the ability to fall in love be with this person for a very long time and um I'm going to be blunt. I feel that a lot of you Libras or whoever I'm reading for, but the energy I'm picking up on right now is that a lot of you guys that are watching uh, don't want to commit. Okay, you're either afraid of commitment or you don't want to commit. And so because of this, 
um, you and this person are like at a standstill over and over and over again because somebody or if not both of you don't want to commit. Um, so I would say, what's the resistance from? And if you know what the resistance is from, if you really want to go deeper into this connection or if you're married, if you want to kind of restart this connection, you know, get deeper, be more intimate with your partner, uh, we have to see exactly why. So this is general, but I'm going to go ahead and pull three cards here. I'm going to do what I feel is necessary to get the answers. So if you don't really like long videos, you can pause and come back. All right, because this is going to get a little bit deeper here. So I want to I want to pull three cards <clears throat> for two of cups. So the first card I got is the Capricorn card, the devil in reverse. Fairy tarot is ego in reverse. This is the ego card, the card of manipulation, the card of materialism. OK, the card of not looking at the heart, not wanting to or not willing to connect, okay? So that could also be another thing where somebody here may not be willing to connect just yet, but is thinking about it, they're pending on it, they're, they're, they're wishing about it. Yeah, wish, nine of cups. So somebody here is hiding from the truth. Um, and that truth is feelings. I think a lot of you guys have feelings for somebody or somebody has feelings for you and they don't wanna admit it. Um, but the card says, wishes come true dreams fulfilled a magical time of life so oh my god so it says a magical time of life that sounds like pregnancy to me for a lot of you i, I mean there's no denying this there's water okay water spirit emotions so i think that towards the end i mean this is kind of far out to say but i do feel that towards the end of august um the drought is going to be over okay like i do feel strongly that Either you or this person or both of you are going to come clean about your feelings. And there definitely is there definitely is commitment on the table. I, I, I don't care what the cards even say right now. Um, I feel it. OK, there's commitment coming through. So ten of pentacles, two of cups, nine of cups, the, the ego card devil in reverse. So turning away from these flings, turning away from putting on a mask. So yeah, I do feel that towards the end of August, middle to end of August, um, this kind of facade is going to disappear and somebody is going to get clean. Now, it may take some time, okay, kind of some slow energy here, four of swords to get you guys going, to get you guys on the same page here. Um, for married couples, I'm going to pull a card as well. Married Libras out here. Okay, that's the card. Yeah, you see? king of wands okay so somebody here i think needs to turn away from their uh playboy playgirl kind of charisma uh showinistic attitude somebody here is a, a toy boy to toy girl yeah and and the universe is asking you to take a chance okay drop the burden and the secrets holy shit the moon card just flew out so it's very clear it's very clear drop the secrets drop the burden and start over okay start over with this person or or suggest it suggest that you guys need to come clean i think that somebody here is is a little bit too charismatic like this is the energy i mean amongst other readers the king of wands is a car that a lot of us do say is, is is the energy of somebody who prowls in the town um goes out a lot you know likes to have more than one sexual partner so i mean that could be I feel a shared thing here, but I'm letting you know right now that this energy is blocking this new beginning, okay? If you're stuck in the single mode, you can't get to this mode. It's literally impossible, okay? You cannot be in this mindset with wanting to have more than one person, or hell, even this mindset, holding secrets, holding back the moon card, Pisces, water energy, to get to this, two of cups. It just doesn't work that way. So make a wish. I would say for all of you guys that's watching, make a wish, you know, ask your garden angels and your guides to help you to, 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 to lead you towards love. If that's what you really want, you know, ask them to show you signs, ask them to bring this person to you. If, if need be, if you're a shy person, you know, ask, ask the universe to bring this energy towards you. Okay, the wish granted card. So if you want commitment, I see it's here. Okay, or it's coming. And there's a fresh beginning. So I think a lot of you guys will either um, 
confess to this person or this person will confess to you or both of you will confess to each other or um there definitely could still be some resistance though i feel okay ace of wands okay yeah so you have two cards you have so many cards here talking about new beginning but there's still somebody here in the background that doesn't really want to do that so it's gonna have to be a joint effort okay if, if, if somebody's over here um wanting to have more than one person and maybe you're the person who wants commitment or vice versa somebody has to kind of compromise here okay so these cards are done for sure these cards are done but there's great potential for a commitment i see here but two people have to agree to it okay you cannot have this relationship by yourself you cannot uh, grant this wish by yourself okay like it i mean you can if you're single and you want to be single but if you want to be with somebody you got to be able to libra's have this wish and their wish fulfilled okay both of you have to strive towards that okay it cannot be a partial effort on either of you guys aside so if you're a cross watcher same message applies um i do feel the need here to pull an oracle card of advice so let's see what you guys got so libra what do you guys have as your advice okay that's a card just flinged out that's fine Okay, so this card is very interesting. It says, uh, the bottom of the deck says block out distractions. Release, uh, okay, I'm gonna, there's more than one. Release resentment about money. Words of abundance. I want to read this one to you guys. And detox your friendships, okay? So if you have negative people around you that are telling you to dodge this person, treat them bad, but you love them, they're not they're not good friends you know they're not good influences okay that's pretty obvious because that could be the problem too for a lot of you libra males out here like maybe your friends are telling you garbage about how to treat a female and they don't know anything and your guides are saying to through me to tell you that you need to pay attention to what you want okay it's not what anybody else wants libra that's why i feel this message is also getting out here is that for you libras it's not about anybody else it's about what you want libra i mean we've been from since april you guys have been having trends about this. You guys, you Libras have been having trends about this exact thing where people are trying to tell you what to do and how to love and how to be. And that's just not the case. It's what you want. It's what wish you want granted. If you want kids, wish granted. If you want a relationship, wish granted. That's the kind of mindset you guys have to have is, you know what? It's what I want. It's what beginning I want. It's who I want don't let anybody punk you out of this this relationship this connection okay because there is a connection here but somebody's stubborn possibly and i think somebody else is playing too much okay that's what i see here so the card the oracle card that i feel is the strongest for you guys for you lovely libras and i am libra moon by the way if you guys didn't know is words of abundance let's read you have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. So also what I'm feeling here is that um, for some reason, money is being tied also to relationships here for a lot of you. So maybe it's like you or the other person want a lot of money you want to accumulate a lot of money and because of that you are literally straining this connection and you're ruining it basically or somebody's ruining it with you and they're saying that you need to release that okay you need to release this situation into words of abundance into positive energy um it says loving and optimistic so not just optimistic but also loving so you don't have to cut off the love supply in order to you know prove something that's the wrong way to go about it libra this month at least this month for you guys it's time to be honest it's time to be open and upfront. so i'm wishing you all the very very best this is your middle of august love reading info on how to contact me social media etc is in the box below i will see you all lovely libras on the next video thank you for watching hope this helped you god bless bye